Hi everyone. So today we are drawing a moth, and these are the art supplies I used. But remember, you don't need the same supplies. I'm just letting you know what I used in case you wanted to know, but you can achieve the same effects with different tools. I may have called this a realistic moth drawing in the title, I'm not sure, because I didn't 100% decide on the title before editing the video, but to be honest, I mixed a few free reference photos in there from Pexels and Pixabay, so I can't say which moth species this is or if it even exists. I started out with a light sketch, probably using an HP pencil, trying to find the shape of the wings, head, antenna and legs. I know it's hard to see the sketch at first since I'm using a light pencil and it's not really showing up on camera. In new drawing videos I film I might experiment with something different for the sketching part to make it easier to see, or maybe just leave out the initial sketch altogether. Then I started enforcing the lines by pressing the pencil a bit harder, and once I had the sketch refined, I erased the unnecessary lines with a kneaded eraser. You can use a regular eraser for this too, but the benefit of a kneaded eraser for this part is that it doesn't create eraser dust that you would then need to wipe off or blow off the paper and maybe smudge the drawing more while doing so. I continued refining the sketch and using darker lines and adding more details like the second set of wings and the stripes of the body and fixed up the shape of one of the wings a bit since it started looking too long. I showed you the reference images earlier, I used one of them for the pose and the shape of the moth, but I didn't find the patterns on the wings that interesting, so I used another species as a reference for the wing pattern. Once the sketch was done, I moved on to the shading and I used the same light pencil, at least I'm pretty sure I did, for the initial shading. If you feel like you're smudging the drawing by having your palm on the paper, you can put a piece of scrap paper between your hand and the drawing, so the oils from your hand aren't touching the drawing. I shaded in most of the moth evenly at this point, leaving only the lines of the wing patterns white. Then I used the paper stamp for blending the shading. You can also use a piece of paper towel to blend instead of using a blending stamp. Or you can just be a bit more neat with the shading to begin with than I was, so you don't need to blend it. But actually, I think the texture of the paper also affects how smooth you can make the shading without blending it. Next, I went in with a softer pencil, possibly a 3B, to add darker shading and more contrast to the drawing. As I said, you don't need to use the same supplies I'm using, but don't expect to get the darkest shading if you only have an HB pencil though. What I mean is that if you don't have a soft pencil, you can replace it with something else, like charcoal or some other dark drawing supply. I previously made a real-time version of this video, but I started turning the ASMR drawing videos into quick speed drawing videos like this, since I'm moving a lot of the real-time videos on my ASMR channel. Speaking of which, there are a couple of new diamond painting videos on there. After shading, I fixed up some parts with a kneaded eraser and also used it for adding highlights. You can mold it into a sharp point to erase thin lines, or you can use the eraser of a mechanical pencil to erase thin lines instead. If you want to see more quick drawing tutorials like this one, click on the playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye!